students in this lesson we will learn how to represent fractions on a number line example of fractions are 1 by 2 3 by 4 8 by 5 so we have a top number which is called the numerator and a bottom number which is called the denominator right now to show the fraction on a number line first we need to draw a line and then we need to uh, divide the line with whole numbers okay so let's see an example first um, draw a number line and mark half on it so we have a number line here and we will mark the whole number say 0 1 2 that's enough okay now half we know is greater than 0 and less than 1 so half lies between 0 and 1 now the gap between 0 and 1 this length from 0 to 1 we need to divide into two parts because the denominator here is 2 okay so two equal parts let's say this is the division here so this part here is 1 by 2 that means between 0 to 1 it's divided into two parts one part two part and this first part is one part out of two parts so half okay now 0 can also be written as 0 by 2 that means the same thing 0 and 0 by 2 or 0 by any number it would mean the same thing similarly 1 here can also be written as 2 by 2 because 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 so you get 1 right okay let's see if we want to represent one third on it okay always look at the denominator so one third three is the denominator that means the length between zero and one needs to be divided into three equal parts so if this is zero and say this is one this is two okay now we don't need this part actually but i have just uh, written it like that okay now between 0 to 1 we need three equal parts say uh, no these are not equal right okay better now the first part here would be one part out of three parts the second part would be two parts out of three parts the third part or one can also be written as 3 by 3 and 0 can also be written as 0 by 3. Usually we don't write it this way but if a question is asked to re represent 0 by 3 or 3 by 3 so you can just write it like this. Okay. Let's see one more example 3 by 7. Now here the denominator is 7 that means the length between 0 and 1 needs to be divided into 7 equal parts. So, say this is 0, this is 1, okay. Now, 7 parts, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 parts we have made out of this. Now, we need 3 by 7, that means 3 parts out of this. That means 1, 2, 3. So, this is 3 by 7. Okay. Now, this is if you want, you can write it as 1 by 7, 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7, 6 by 7. This is 7 by 7 and this is actually 0 by 7. But it's not asked in the question. So, it, no, you need not write it. We just mark this point and uh, 0 and 1. And equally divide it so that would be sufficient next how to represent improper fractions on the number line now so far we have seen 1 by 2 1 by 3 3 by 7 so these are our proper fractions that means numerator is small and denominator is big what if we have improper fractions wherein the denominator is small and the numerator is big so, for example, say I have 21 over 5. 21 over 5. Now, how do I represent this? Because I know that I'm going to divide between 0 and 1 uh, the length and 5 equal parts. So, how do I show 21 then? Okay. So, to do this, first convert this into mixed fraction. So, 21 by 7, if I want to convert it, 
divide 5 times 4 is 20 1 so this can also be written as 4 whole and 1 fifth right 4 whole and 1 fifth 4 and 1 fifth okay now it is easier to show this on the number line so say 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay these are all whole numbers I have written no fractions so far and we need to show one fifth so four complete whole and one fifth so the length between four and five divided into five equal parts because the denominator is five here so one two three four one two three four five it's divided into five equal parts and the first point here is one by five so I can say this point here is 4 and 1 fifth. I hope this is clear to all. Now let's see if we have uh, like uh, many fractions and how we can represent all of them at the same time. We have done the same thing previously also like uh, I think here I have shown you even this one I have shown you the same thing we need to do here. So it says draw a number line and locate the points on them. So here we have 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 3 by 4 and 4 by 4. So the first one has the denominator as 2. The second, third and fourth has denominator four, of 4, right? But then how can we represent half? You can convert this half into equivalent fraction. That means with denominator 4. So to do that, what you can do is 1 by 2. Multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. So we would get 2 by 4. Now all the denominators are same. So it is easy for us to locate the points. Let's say this is 0 and this is 1. Okay. Now let's represent these fractions. 1 by 2 is half or 2 by 4. right? So that means um, 1, 2, 2 jumps. 2 by 4 which is actually 1 by 2 then we have one part out of 4 so 1 by 4 2 by 4 3 by 4 1 is 4 by 4 okay let's see one more example 2 by 5 3 by 5 8 by 5 and 4 by 5 so the denominator is 5 so we need to divide the length between 0 and 1 into 5 equal parts okay so it's 1 2 3 4 5 assume all these parts are equal okay now 2 by 5 that means 1 2 this is 2 by 5 3 by 5 is this one 4 by 5 is this one now how do I locate uh, 8 by 5 well, see, this is an improper fraction, okay? So, what I can do is, I can just extend this line here, okay, mark 2 here, and divide this into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, this is 5 by 5, right? So, from 5, I can say 6 by 5, 7 by 5, 8 by 5. I can do it this way also, okay? Or, what I can do is, I can convert this into mixed fraction so 8 by 5 if I convert 5 ones of 5 3 so that means 1 whole and 3 fifth 1 whole and 3 fifth so 1 whole is here okay and after that 3 fifth that means 3 parts so 1 part 2 part 3 part and we reach the same point right so 1 and 3 fifth and 8 by 5 is the same thing so you can do it either way okay next let's see how many fractions lie between 0 and 1 so if the question is asked like how many fractions are there between 0 and 1 let's say this is 0 this is 1 uh, again I'd say 0 this is 1 and this is 0 and 1 so how many fractions can we have between 0 and 1? 
well the answer is infinite number of fractions that is because see if i say 1 by 4 we are going to divide it into four equal parts this will be divided into four equal parts if i say 25 by say 25 by 100 Obviously, nobody is going to ask you to plot these points. This is just for explanation. So, if you want to show 25 by 100, so you will divide this into 100 parts and just show the 25th part, right? If I have to say, uh, show 7 over 31, okay? So, here the denominator is 31. So, this portion here, I'm going to divide it into 31 parts and then show the 7th part. 7 out of 31. So that means I can have as many number of fractions as I want between 0 and 1. So that's why the answer is infinite. That means we cannot count how many fractions we can have, right? Okay. So that was all about uh, representing the fractions on a number line. See you all with a new video. Thank you.